I'm on Test Station Road, and I've been on this road for a really long time. I don't know what, what it is, but these roads here in California are different. The, the dirt roads, they're like the whole time. So I can only drive five miles an hour. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And I feel like this is not the best way to get somewhere. I'm trying to get to a dispersed camping spot, but this road has gone on for so long and I can't drive fast. I'm driving like a snail. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, kind of near Mammoth Lakes, but I know that my GPS took me the wrong way because this is not a good road to drive on. Um, Yuki was starting to overheat a bit because we've been going at it forever at like two to five miles per hour. I'm just, I'm so tired. I haven't slept well the last two nights and I just wanna, I wanna sleep. I'm tired, I'm tired. I had to also pee. So it's my frustrations for today. Happy birthday to me as well. It's not the day of my birthday, but I guess maybe this will be my birthday video. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety right now. After that really, really long road, the next road was just, it's just sand. And it's really like, I need my four wheel drive for this. And there's this place where I'm supposed to go up to get to my camping spot, but I try to get up there and I just don't want to get stuck because I'm literally out in the middle of nowhere. I have no service. I, I, <laughs> I'm up in the mountains and this is just, yeah. I'm sure I could do it with my four wheel drive, but I don't even know if the campsites are up there. Like I got stuck with my two wheel drive and all the roads are like this. Like you, you can't really tell on camera, but it's super scary, but it's starting to, it's gonna get dark soon and I cannot go back down the mountain. It'll take me hours. I'm gonna try to go up that path and just park off the road. I don't know. I doubt I'll get in trouble. I doubt anybody goes on this road. There's one other person and it's a one lane road. <laughs> it's not even a road. It's literal. like, it's not even a road. Like it's overlanding. And I was not prepared for this today. I almost got stuck trying to pull over so they could pass me. So they had to back all the way up and then I just had to squeeze in. It's embarrassing. <sighs> and I've been like, I've had the heat on full blast so it doesn't overheat while I'm climbing, crawling up this road. Got our overlanding, that's for sure. It wasn't good. I wasn't, wasn't trying. I know what I did wrong. My GPS was telling me this main road right here was closed. So it took me the back, 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 back way and I'm so surprised that I actually like made it all the way through because it was soft sand. It was just good job, Yuki. I did have to employ my four wheel drive quite a few times. And that main yellow road right there, that, that it could have been so simple, so easy, so simple, but no, that's where it took me. I had to drive all the way up the back end of the way. And I could have just taken the road that was not closed. People are trying to pull in for the night. Do, 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 do. I wanna get one of those someday. Look at these views that I got. Mammoth Mono Lake. Not too shabby for free camping, guys. I need to, I can't wait till I someday have like a really powerful overlanding vehicle where I don't have to like worry, you know, so much about things going wrong, but Yuki's not left me stranded yet. So 
I found hot springs. I'm hoping to find a camp spot near here. It's supposed to be, but I don't see it. Oh, it's cold. is a lot of them get really crowded no matter when you go. That's way too crowded. Hello, welcome to the Swiss Saint now. Welcome to Lake Tahoe. Update real quick because I think I need to check out like now. It is the day before my birthday. Um, I got a hotel for two nights because there's no camping around here. So I should probably leave because it's kind of a big touristy town. And as pretty as it is, you can like literally just walk to the beaches around the lake. It's just not my vibe because it's too touristy. I'm gonna stay with my friend around the area and kind of explore Yosemite a little bit more because I wanted to see the really big trees before I left California. I was just gonna go from here kind of straight through Nevada um, to Idaho. But I'm gonna wait a little bit longer because I know Idaho is not that warm yet. So I'm rushing around. I have to rush around every time I check out because I wait to the last second to check out these days. Get the most bang for my buck. I got this shirt. I don't know why I got white, but it was on sale. I feel like such a tourist. <laughs> but it's nice to have a nice baggy thing. I kind of like this better than the black hoodie that I got. This motel is really weird smelling. <laughs> I had to get a really cheap one, so. I am here on a beach, Lake Tahoe. Um, not really interested too much in the beaches because it's a little too cold out, so I can't really swim. And I don't really like to swim around people. <laughs> I'm so antisocial these days, it's bad. But just want to give you a quick glimpse of some, a little tiny bit at least, of Lake Tahoe while I'm here. I didn't really show you anything, but I didn't really do much. It's a beautiful day. It is a nice area. I can understand why it's a high touristy area. You got the water, you got the trees. I think people like to do a lot of boating, skiing, fishing type of stuff around here. Not as much my scene, but I'm going to move on from here and backtrack <laughs> back towards Yosemite and back out into the wilderness out of civilization again. I've been in civilization. As you can see, I'm quite clean. It's uncharacteristic of me these days. Had to stop real quick and get some winter time in. Bummer. All right, that one's not gonna work. I need to backtrack, go back around. This happens, you know, like whenever you're trying to find like campsites and stuff, you never know like what's gonna pop up. A lot of like road closures and stuff. And sometimes they shut down dispersed camping sites, which is unfortunate. I'm in beautiful mountainous, snowy areas. The problem with the mountains is there's usually very minimal service and I've been driving trying to find service because I can't get to the other campsite. Most beautiful places are kind of scary because they're very desolate and remote. I need to find somewhere that I can get service. But yeah, this is, it's crazy how warm it is, but there's snow everywhere. It's kind of cool how you can change climate so quickly in California. I don't know where to sleep tonight. I wanted to wake up somewhere really beautiful on my birthday, but to be fair, I've been very spoiled with the campsites that I have had, so I cannot complain. I'm in the El Dorado National Forest. There's someone shooting target practice. I don't know the exact rules. Um, I'm gonna look it up later when I have service. <laughs> I am on like camping grounds because there's campfires around the area here and you're allowed to camp for free in national forests. Ugh, there's a lot of bugs here. Okay, I'm not used to, um, okay, so this is, <laughs> It's been a little frustrating 
today. But this is my first time finding my own camp spot like this. That's not online. This one's not recorded. I'm also not used to being in a bug area, number one, uh, forest, because it used to be in the desert now and I miss it because there's no bugs there. You know, having, yeah, I have to look out for bears because this is a huge bear area. You just have to flow with it. That's what I've learned throughout this whole experience is just, you have to flow with it. There's no, there's no agenda. There's no end goal. It's about the journey. This is, it's absolutely lovely. Like it's such a beautiful day. The road that I came driving on, they were doing controlled burnings at the start of it. The thing in California is different. The forests here obviously are much different than the East forest that I'm used to. Like it's, it is a bit drier here, but it's still nice and green. And I'm excited to get more into Yosemite and see all the big trees and the forest there. Um, I guess for my birthday meal, I didn't really consider it. I guess I won't really have one. Uh, maybe next year will be the year that I really celebrate my birthday because this year it's just kind of turned out that it's just making it a bit hard to have, to do something big for it. You know, I don't have the finances. I don't, I, I'm not in a location where I can do things and stuff. So it's just like, I'll just be chill. I don't really know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. This whole journey has been a huge birthday present to me. This is like, this whole year has been such a growth and beauty, so much beauty this year. That's enough for me. We have an avocado, two bananas, cottage cheese, kimchi, which is fancy because kimchi is quite expensive. And then obviously some hard boiled eggs. And that is, it's our meal. I think the more I try to fight against being alone, the worse I feel. Like the times where you're alone and you can't really help it and you can't control it, don't try to control it, just embrace it. And it, that goes for like anything in your life. If you feel like you're in a, a situation that you don't wanna be in, instead of trying to like fight against it, kind of just go with it. There's so much beauty that can happen whenever you go alongside of life instead of like trying to push against it. It's not that serious, you know? Like I'm really not alone. There's so much here, like there's so much life, even the bugs, <sighs> if you breathe through an anxiety, you'll just know that everything will work out. And like I said, nothing's too serious. I've learned those lessons this past couple of years. No matter the distance And how far I run mm -hmm. You'll always be missing Happy birthday to me! I didn't plan to be by myself. My birthday didn't really want to be this year, but at the same time, sometimes, like I said before, you can't control everything. And you just take what is going. Hey, I'm gonna have a beautiful drive out of here. The, the road here was really long, and, but it was a really nice drive, so. Well, I wanted to look nice for my birthday, so I put on this unrealistic green dress. <laughs> my birthday, this is my birthday dress. Time to move on. So whenever I start Yuki, I have to do this a few times. So she starts the first time. See? Ahaha! <laughs> I go blind when I try to find you. Is I go blind when I try to find you. But I'll find you. small town angels camp in California um, it's, it has a very western feel it's yesterday I didn't really film anything much on my birthday basically I just traveled here into angels camp I didn't really do anything stopped at the coffee shop did a little bit of work spoke on the phone to my family I heard from so many people and so many people wish me happy birthday and everyone was so kind it was just lovely and even though I didn't really get to do anything it was still just peaceful and you know getting to wake up in nature I'm just very grateful. It's not so bad being alone if you're grateful. A lot of people ask me how I deal with it or if I ever get lonely. Yes, it's just, you're allowed to have feelings. Don't worry about having feelings, like acknowledge them, being curious about them.
but don't let anything consume you because everything is transient, everything is very temporary. And if anything, it should make us really appreciative for every type of feeling we have. Anyways, my friend Lana is coming tomorrow. There's so many snake holes around here. That's what you get in the West. Do, 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 do. I don't remember what all was in this video, to be honest. Tomorrow, my friend Lana is gonna come and we're gonna check out the big trees. That's why we're here. Um, I wanna check out the, I just wanna see a big tree in California. Uh, I don't care if it's Yosemite or Big Tree National Park or whatever it is. We're just gonna see a big tree before this video is done. That's basically kind of the extent of my birthday on the road. Be it alone. Gah, I have so many um, prickles in my shoes right now. It hurts so bad. Oh, there's one. See it? I don't know what kind of snake that is. Right there. Mm -hmm.